All right, so we're here at Camp Sunawa, and I have the wrong map on there. I have an old map on there. So I went to, uh, I logged in, then I went to Trails, and I'm going to go to a business listing. So this is the on-trail business because Camp Sunawa is actually run as a, as a business. So I'm going to go into the Camp Sunawa listing, and once I'm logged in, I can see, you know, all the trails in this area but it's more important is there's all the trails in this listing so this is how to get to each individual trail here's the rangers number and all the email and stuff and then um, what amenities it has where all the photos from uh, members if they marked it private you won't see them here if it's public then it, you'll see it there and then you can share it. There's some social sharing stuff there. Some of the videos will then show up as well. Some of that's public. Some of it is for members only. And then here's where you can print the PDF. Again, you got to be logged in to see this part. Um, the PDF there. And then here's the KML and G, uh, GPX files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the GPX file uh, down to the card and then I'm going to see if I can just hit the open button. Yep. So I use Backcountry Navigator Pro and so I'm going to import this like this and then what it's doing is putting that information on the map. And then now I have all the trails for camp which will be usable in real time here. And then if I wanted to go into a specific trail, I can go into that listing and see that information. So that's kind of how that works. It's pretty slick. And I'm here on site doing that. If you have cell phone reception, you can do that. I'm hot, I'm hot spotting right off my phone. These files are not super huge, so you can usually get to them. If you have no cell coverage though, you it's best to do this at home. I downloaded this map so the actual map data I downloaded at home, and that's cached inside the, uh, inside the tablet. 